What's going on, everybody? This is Temperature Check. I am your host, as always, man. Mr. Check the Temperature, how y'all doing? Before we get started with today's content, I must do what I always do anytime you see me on your screen, and that is thank you for the likes, comments, shares, most importantly, the subscriptions. So whether you be a day one fan or someone who just locked in with the channel today, man, I greatly appreciate it. And if you're loving the content I got on my YouTube channel, man, slide over to Twitter, man. Hit me up, Mr. Check the Temperature on that platform. But let's get started off in today's content. So, man, uh, we are talking about a topic that has been uh, pretty prevalent in battle rap throughout its existence. We are talking about a topic that, um, shout out to Jazz the Rapper. She took a lot of flack on, on Twitter for her. Uh, but we're talking about choking, man. Choking in battles. Choking in battles. Choking and stumbling in battles. Um, and Jazz the Rapper's philosophy is that you can choke in a round and still win your round based off your material if the other battle rapper, even though they may get through their material cleanly, their material is lesser than the battle rapper that choked. Um okay, so let's talk about it. Let's 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 do this. What is a choke to me? Um, a choke to me is when a battle rapper is performing their round on stage and their mind completely goes blank. Um, during that time where their mind is trying to conjure up the bars, trying to remember the bars, they do things such as grabbing water, trying to quiet down a crowd, um, walking around, um, maybe messing with the mic. But all that really trying to distract us from the point that they didn't lost their fucking uh, point in the battle and they can't remember their bars no more. Um, so how long does how much time needs to elapse between that last line, you your mind completely going blank, and then you remembering what to say um, for me to consider it a choke? I'll be honest. If you stop rapping more than ten seconds, you have choked. In that round, and I'll, I'll I'll give you a perfect example. I'll do a real quick example. We're gonna we're gonna wait here in silence for ten seconds, okay? Starting now. Ten seconds is a long ass time, man. It's a, lot, it's a lot of time to drink some water, though. It's a lot of time to look at your phone. It's a lot of time to, 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 to kick up a freestyle real quick. A lot of time to remember your bars. But no longer than 10 seconds, man. I feel like 10 seconds grace period, that, that's, that's the borderline. And to me, that's pushing it. At the end of the day, man, these are, these are the best battle rappers in the world. Um, they should be a professional enough and should have a, enough pride in their craft to prepare properly. Now, I could give you my 12 Ps that are more uh, organizational-based versus the Ps that um, Jay Black gives, but that's neither here nor there. Um, can you win a round with a choke in it? Short answer, hell no, you can't win a round with a choke in it. What's a, what is a perfect example of this? What is a perfect example of this? That says, let's say this, if... Battle rapper A chokes for 10 to 15 seconds. This is a Jay Black, uh, so don't go saying I'm taking this round. No, I got this from Jay Black's channel, so shout out to Champion. If battle rapper A chokes in a t for 10 to 15 seconds, battle rapper B round is solid, but not overwhelming, but clean, um, who wins that round? Battle rapper B wins that round. I don't agree with choking in rounds. It is a, it's an automatic point deduction. You just hit below the belt. You just headbutted a boxer, whatever you want to call it. Defensive pass interference, um, un illegal, uh, dead ball, unnecessary roughness, whatever flag penalty, um, rule infraction you want to call. That's what it is, man. You cannot. I repeat, you cannot win a round if you choke in that round. I don't give a damn what you said. You could have said the greatest things ever to me. But if it took you 10 to seconds to remember it, then no. There's only one There's only one other case that I would say um, that's even worse than choking to me. But we'll, we'll talk about that later. But here's a perfect example. Because I don't like using A, Battle Rapper A, and Battle Rapper B. Let's use real life examples so we can talk about some real stuff. Charlie Clips versus Geechee Gotti. 
Summer Madness X. A lot of things happened in that battle. It was, you know, it was definitely some antics. You know, you had Gishi Gotti acting a little out of character, talking during rounds, um, things of that nature. But you also had a choke in the third. Yes, I said it. I know my homie gonna kill me because he's a huge Charlie Clips fan, and we argued this for about thirty minutes last night. But Charlie Clips choked in that third round. It was not written in there. I don't believe that. He choked in that third round. All that, hmm. What, was you constipated? Was you constipated? Was you biting your lower lip? Come on, man. But on top of that, yes, he did choke, but he also gave us a legendary freestyle. I can't argue that. It was legendary, but here's, here's my counterpoint to that. If he doesn't choke, does he comp do the freestyle? Because if you're telling me, he, I personally think he did the freestyle in order to save the round. Because his round was pretty much already done. He probably had like maybe 16 bars left in his round when he choked. So if he just would have delivered those 16 bars, it would have looked bad. So he had to do the freestyle. Now, again, a legendary freestyle, but we don't get the freestyle if he does not choke. So essentially, what would, because I'm going to be honest with you. I, I went back and watched the third round. This is what I want you to do. I got some homework for y'all. We're going to use some school analogies. So I got some homework for y'all. All my app gang members, all the app gang members, URL app, all my screen record uh, guys, if you know, hey, man, hustle. You got to hustle sometimes. I get it. Watch Charlie Clips third round. And the moment he starts to freestyle, stop it. Then watch Geechee Gotti's third round. Because essentially, if Charlie Clips completes his third round cleanly, I don't think he freestyles. I don't think we get that legendary third round. So essentially, what we got from Charlie Clips is a student who doesn't do any homework the whole semester. Not a single assignment the whole semester, right? The last week before the final, the teacher says, hey, I have an extra credit assignment you guys can do to gain, get, get some extra points. So, you know what I'm saying? To help bump, your, help bump your score up a little bit before the final. Sometimes you get nice teachers like that, right? He turned in no assignments but did the extra credit. Make it make sense. Make it make sense to me. I don't think it makes sense at all. To be perfectly honest, it don't make sense to me. I should not be more hyped about your freestyles than I am about your writings. Now, with some people that I already know are uh, automatically thinking Chef Trez. Chef Trez been freestyling and rebuttaling his whole career. That's, that's something that we look for. We look for the rebuttals and the freestyles. But he don't choke, though. So that's already implemented into his round. You cannot win a round if you choke. Like, that's... that's that's the end all be all. I'm sorry. I don't, you cannot win around if you choke. Um, so again, Charlie Clips, I love you to death. Love what you got on Wild. And that's another thing, man. Y'all got, also got to understand because people was like, well, you, I think you, I think he planned it because everything he said lined up exactly with what he had been saying in the third round. Of course, he is a perfect, he is a literally an improv professional. He is a improv professional professional that's what he gets paid to do or he used to get paid to do on while and out what's the improv make things up on the fly we already know he has a freestyle ability that is out of this world so you telling me and because that was about a 20 second choke if you time that about 2025 20, so you don't believe that in 2025 20, seconds he can figure out a line that could match up with the line he was Still trying to uh connect? Come on, man. Come on, man. Hey, you cannot choke in a battle. and You cannot choke in a round and win that. I don't care. And then I get what Jazz is saying, right? She's saying, well, what if... So Charlie Clips, let's take that whole third round. But, but then let's say Geechee round was trash, even though it wasn't. Does Charlie Clips still win that round? Give me a scenario... Where someone has a fire, a fire third round. Because you got to, in order to win a round with a choke in it, your shit better be lava hot. So, give me a battle where you had someone, ch 
present a fire round, choked in the round, and then the person that they went against gave you trash ass bars. I don't see that happening too often. Because what I do realize is when someone chokes in the round, if the person who chokes in the round was the first person to start off that round, that second person, easy peasy like a Sunday morning, easy breezy like a Sunday morning. There should be, what? where's the stress level? The stress just got taken off my shoulders real quick. All I have to do is get through my material. These are the best battle rappers in the world. I don't see anyone having trash rounds. They might not be what we want to hear, but they can never be trash. I understand this is a opinionated sport, but choking is the baseline fundamental on how we gauge rounds. If we can say, if we allow chokes, then what the hell, what, what are the battle rappers even putting their energy into written for? Everybody should just be freestyling at that point. Right? Oh, not right. Because you, you want to hear the angles. You want a good presentation of information. Okay, then. When someone does not present that information in its completed state, then it must be counted against them. I'll be honest with you. I'd rather see somebody choke in a battle than stumble through their material. And here's why. When you choke in a battle, right, most of the time when you choke in a battle, it is a complete stoppage of your round. And that's you trying to gather your thoughts. But when you stumbling and bumbling, you might get through a line. They have to bring that line back, add half a bar to that, bring that line back, add for half a bar. Like, it's when it's chopped up like that, it's too hard to get into the flow of your round. It's too hard to get into the flow of the bars. So it makes it very difficult for you to present an argument that is worthy of my attention to even judge it to even judge the round so this is temperature check i am mr check the temperature man like comment subscribe to the channel and like always we just getting started